सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ वीएफएक्स एंड कंपोजिटिंग एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लेंडर एंड आफ्टर इफेक्ट सी गाइस दैट्स माय एनिमेशन एंड गाइस आई शो यू माय फाइनल रेंडर प्रीव्यू सो गाइस गो टू ऑन आफ्टर इफेक्ट एंड गाइस प्रीव्यू चेक या सी गाइस दैट्स माय रियली कूल कंपोजिटिंग राइट गाइस रियली सिंपल एंड नाउ गाइस आई टीच यू हाउ आई क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ इफेक्ट सो स्टॉप and guys go to on again blender and guys go to on back here and guys see that's my render preview yeah see guys that's my really cool compositing right it's really simple okay so guys now firstly go to on file and guys i create new like this yeah so guys go to on here and guys same new project and guys now import your video footage so guys click on here Guys, select and import. Yeah, see, guys, that's my video footage. And now, guys, you can change some color correction because I create more sharpness. So, guys, go to on effect and presets. And guys, I type curve tool, curve. So, guys, select and drag and drop on main com here. And guys, little bit increase brightness and contrast increase like this. Yeah, see, guys, that's my simple colors for more sharpness right okay so guys now select and guys precom and move all attribute check and press okay yes i select your layer and guys go to on tracking and track camera check i see that's my tracking and guys see that's my detail analysis check okay so guys my tracking is finished now review yeah That's my really cool tracking points. Okay, so guys, now select your tracking points like this, and guys, right click, guys, set ground and plane origin check, and one more time, right click, set solid camera check. Yeah, and guys, go to back and preview check. Yeah, that's my tracker plane. Okay, so guys, now all is good, and guys, go to on here. So guys, little bit up like this. and guys select your 3d camera so guys go to and transform select position and origin and guys go to like a zero frame and guys copy so press control c so guys go to and plane guys this time i use this one ae to blender add on so guys delete and guys click on camera check yeah so guys that's my camera and guys now little bit change this keyframe guys think automatically start on zero so guys i use like a one second and one more time guys go to on here so guys select camera double click on this camera and focal on copy so guys guys copy and guys one more time blender so guys select your camera and guys click on here focal and paste so control v enter yes and guys lastly go to on here tracker and guys select your anchor point position scale and origin So guys, copy. So press Control C, and guys, plane check. Yeah, that's it, guys. So press zero. Yeah, that's my simple tracker. And guys, now select your here camera. So guys, click on here background image check. And guys, I apply this time. Guys, same apply video. So select. Yeah, and guys, see that's my opacity hundred percent. So guys, go to back and preview check. Yeah, see guys, that's my plane. And now, guys, you can apply any 3D model. Guys, I already download 3D model and import a VX file. Select and guys, I have file and select. Guys, import. Yeah, and guys, now rotate this 3D model. So rotate, rotate like this. So guys, go to our here. Yeah, all is good. and guys scale size smaller so right click select hierarchy and scale size smaller like this yeah great okay so guys now select this plane and plane size increase yeah that's it right see guys that's my plane and guys little bit back for more time on yeah great see guys that's my plane and guys now go to back and preview check yes right okay so guys now all is good 
and guys one more time go to back and preview check yeah that's my animation right okay so guys now you can change keyframe so guys select your camera and guys keyframe change see guys that's my last keyframe is this one so guys go to back and click on here 163 and 163 enter yeah and guys one more time preview check yes right okay so guys my animation is finished now guys i have changed some setting on render so guys click on here i use cycle render device gpu check and guys max i like 256 is good so guys go to on here and guys go to on fill and see guys that's my transparency check yeah okay so guys see that's my frame rate i use same frame rate that's my 23.98 fps and see guys that's my output guys i create transparent video so guys see that's my output so guys click on here click and go to on desktop create new folder like a render and take any file name yeah see guys that's my format file i use this one video and guys go to our encode so use this time quick time yeah and see guys that's my video code so use this one qt animation check and guys see that's my same color guys i use rgb alpha right guys i create transparent so use rgb alpha and guys see that's my quick time and video code use qt animation yes and see guys that's my simple transparent setting because i create this one i create only dragon animation and guys now i apply light so guys click on here as dri light so guys use transparent this one guys i have as dri file select and guys you can apply any light so guys i like uh, this one import yeah and guys also i like take a uh, sunlight yes guys go to an up and guys click on here and guys camera check and guys now rotate this light rotate like this yeah that's my sunlight and guys go to on here and strength i like three and guys angle 20 yeah that's it guys okay so guys lastly select your this one plane and guys go to on visibility and shadow catch it check so guys click on here yeah see guys that's my beautiful render setting and guys see that's my beautiful shadow so guys press play yeah much better see guys that's a beautiful shadow right okay so guys now guys you can change also this sunlight setting is depending on your work like a five is also good for more brightness yeah and guys now go to back and preview check yes see guys that's my simple animation and now guys i create this time render so guys i show you only one frame render yeah see guys that's my transparent file and guys now close so guys go to on render and render animation check guys i already create render so guys go to on one more time after effect and guys click on here project and right click import and import file dragon render see guys that's my render file that's my video so guys press ok and simple drag and drop go to an up yes and guys see that's my solid tracker hide and guys preview check yeah see guys that's my really cool animation right see that's my really cool animation okay so guys now stop and guys this time i change some color correction so guys go to on new and guys adjustment clear so guys go to on effect and presets and guys use sharp select and apply sharpen tool and like a 10 is good 10 and guys i take this time curve tool curve and apply guys little bit increase brightness yeah yes great 
and guys lastly i apply level select levels and apply and guys little bit change darkness yes all is good yes much better right see guys that's my beautiful color correction and compositing and guys preview check and guys see that's a beautiful shadow right okay so guys my animation is finished that's my final animation right it's looking really good guys you can download all model guys link in description